This video we detail how to use PowerPoint as the template for your pattern tech portfolio. Within this I'll cover the basic setup. The first thing you're going to do when you open PowerPoint is to look at entering headers or titles into the two boxes that come with the first default slide. The next element that you're going to do is set the page setup to be the correct dimensions. So you'll go to design and page setup along the ribbon and from this you'll change it from the slide size for on screen show to either A4 or A3 dependent upon which size portfolio you would like to have if you happen to print in hard copy. So in this instance I'm going to pick A4 and I'm going to leave the slides to be landscape orientation and say OK and this will change the dimensions of your slide. The next thing that you're going to do is go to the home menu and to insert a new slide you can either do this by clicking on new slide or you can click on the small drop down menu to the side of this and in this instance I'm going to insert a blank slide although you can see there are a number of themed slides that you could insert with text and images expected to be put into certain places. So I'll pick a blank slide and now I'll show you how to insert an image so you're going to go to insert and picture and then locate where on your computer the images are and you can place an image within the slide itself. Using any of the controls on the four corners you can scale the image to any particular size and using the controls on top and bottom you can slightly skew the images i.e. compressing them but this will change the dimensions and the aspect ratio. You may also, using the crop tool under the picture tools, crop the image to be a smaller size so you only see part of it on there. This will be extremely useful if you happen to be inserting a screenshot. So you may print screen and then right click on the page and paste. And when you paste a screen onto the page here, you'll then see have to scale it down to be of the correct size to fit on the page and equally it may be at this stage that you decide to crop it so to bring up that menu if you double click on it you can see crop will come back and you can crop this page down to show just the aspects that you would like to show place it where you will on the page and again you can use the, the um, toggles on the side to enlarge it or reduce it to fit to certain sizes. So that's your pictures that you can insert into it. The next element you may want to then put into this is text. So to do that you're going to go to insert and text box and select where you'd like to put the text box type into the box to show text which will accompany the images and again you can resize these to any dimensions as a default the text box will generally be the size of the text that's within it okay and you can insert as many text boxes as you like to go with each of the images and similarly you can select them using the cursor and position them wherever you want over the images or to the side of the images and there's any number of variety of different formattings you can do with these double click on them ensure you're in this drawing tools menu you can place a shape fill of any particular color to place a background color on it and similarly you can also place a different outline around the boxes as well whatever type of um, effect that you'd like to have consistently through your portfolio so these are the basic elements that you can use to generate a portfolio using Pattern Tech from either saved JPEG images or PDF images inserted through the insert picture or again using screenshots which you can capture at the time or capture and paste into another document and copy into here.